Fuji Velvia 100F is a slack film. Essentially, I have got this film long time ago when I actually donated one of my accessory via one of those uh, secondhand market and I didn't ask for any money. What I asked for is that if anybody has something else to exchange, um, I'm happy to take uh, in exchange of the accessory that I put it online. And one of the gentlemen came back to me and asked me if I'm interested in slide film in return. So I said, of course, why not? I never tried that before. So I said, yes. And a few weeks later, I've got that film in my hand. Now, problem, problem is that I did not know how to develop it. Well, you see, I live in Reunion Island and we don't have much of a facility of developing. The two labs that we have needs to only um, develop a normal C41 film and black and white. And not only that, they don't even develop a medium format, they only do 35mm film. Now, so I actually took these photos that you're about to see about six to seven months ago from the post of this video and then I had to send that film by mail in Paris which is 11,000 kilometers away from where I live and a few weeks later uh, I got the result back and glad to say I mean it feels like magic to see <laughs> photos appearing on a piece of plastic it's just unreal i'm sure that back in the day that was totally normal things to have but for me my generation i'm like over 30 but i grew up uh, at the age where that's the end of film photography and the beginning of digital photography so for me it was the magic like i was showing everyone uh, the photos that are appearing on a plastic like a child so I can imagine the excitement but then I actually scanned that film in uh, that roll of film in with my plus stick um, 81 or 8200 scanner uh, at JPEG but I didn't do much of a editing or change I tried to keep it as um, original as possible as unedited as possible so that I can see the effect original effect on it hard to say though I mean unless you print images in a traditional way which is with the chemical with the digital scanning I mean it's a wild wild west so I hope that the color you are looking at it right now is the true Fuji Velvia um, 100f slide film color now uh, important thing is that the film has been expired like in 2005 the gentleman told me so and the production doesn't exist anymore anyway however the photo turned out to be very good very grainy and you can see a soft look uh, definitely not the lens because lens was very sharp uh, 17 to 40 mm f4 Canon L so I'm imagining because of the travel back and forth via x-ray so that affected just a touch plus it's expired film plus um, I developed the film six months after taking images so after all this struggle incredibly looking good images which is just wonderful
Now, here's the thing. Now, the images I've taken, which is in Reunion Island, and the some part of the images was in a tea garden in a foggy day at a high altitude. So, kind of um, uh, low uh, light condition, foggy in green. You can see that the green look particularly muted. However, the red flower sometimes looks pretty kind of reddish and I don't know if my eyes, but when I take a photo in the green, everything else looks pretty greenish while when I'm taking image in the like a flower, then whole image look like reddish. So I don't know if my eyes or it's the scanner or it is normal thing to see. Pretty grainy, but I love the grain and when you like taking photos in a contrasty area of course as a slight thing if i understand currently it can be a bit of difficult however i like the look also the images taken on the ocean uh, some of them against directly facing the sun can give you a beautiful fantastic look overall i think uh, this is a beautiful film to test shame that it doesn't exist and shame that my island no one develops slide film Otherwise, I would have been enjoying it more, but that being said my personal opinion um, I wouldn't shot film color film in my life ever again for many reasons it cost money a lot of money and You know, it's actually a lot easier to enjoy photography and taking photos in digital and kind of you know use something like dxo film pack in this case i used a software called dehancer pro for my video that's the reason why the video looks like filmic uh, so that uh, software also can be used for photography and you can just use any film stock and then it will give you a beautiful grainy uh, colorful or black and white images so I invite you to take a look at the description below and then try out yourself trust me I mean it lot can cost a lot less and definitely save you a lot of time anyway hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you do so you know uh, let me know why you enjoyed it and let me know your opinion on this film let me know anything that you have on this video and side note again this video uh, is been edited in the Vinci Resolve with the Dehancer Pro uh, to give uh, the Kodak Vision film look anyway hope you're in good health look after yourself and bye bye